In the next couple of videos, we're going to get into more details about how that the transistor works and even use it in a few different scenarios and circuits and things. But before we do that, before we get into understanding its behavior, we want to sort of develop a bit of an analysis of the transistor just to demonstrate some of the properties that it has. So here's we're going to do it by way of LEDs. So what I have here is a very simple circuit. I've sort of moved the battery over to the right side here, but I'm definitely powering these uh, horizontal rows here. I have two 100 ohm resistors, the brown, black, browns, sort of feeding two LEDs, and then they go on to ground here on this side by these jumper wires over here. So in a nutshell, what will happen here is if I just turn the battery on, both LEDs come on. And as you can, as you can tell, even on the camera here, the LEDs are about the exact same brightness. So what we'd like to get across is hopefully you'll agree that the brightness of an LED can be used sort of as a proxy or an indicator of how much current is passing through the LED. So in the case like this here, whether you want to think about it in terms of Ohm's law or just be comfortable with the idea here, we've got nine volts across each resistor LED sequence right here. And the LEDs are coming on, they look like they're about equal brightness, and why wouldn't they be if they both have nine volts across them? Both of the resistors are exactly the same, both the LEDs are exactly the same, why wouldn't they glow at the same brightness right there? And indeed they do, it looks like they're about the same brightness. But of course I know how resistors work, if I take out this 100 ohm resistor here and replace it with my 10,000 ohm resistor, my, my brown, black, orange resistor, and place that in line here with this LED, or in other words I'm going to replace the 100 ohm with this 10,000 ohm resistor as the safety resistor for this particular LED then you see it comes on but much less bright with much less brightness there this one with a 100 ohm resistor the current is being resisted in the least amount here so the LED comes on nice and bright where the 10,000 ohm resistor the LED comes on very dimly because the 10,000 ohm resistor is resisting the current to a large extent there so there we go so that's all we wanted to get across in this video here is that think of the LEDs the brightness of an LED as an indicator of the current that's passing through the LED the brighter the LED, the more current must be passing through it, and the dimmer the LED, the less current must be passing through it, because we're going to use these LEDs and this brightness quality, quantity, quality here to analyze how transistors work in the very next video. So stay tuned. So again, brightness an indicator of the current passing through an LED.